what is the difference between a subscription and a shared subscription? MQTT knows two types of subscriptions, a subscription and a shared subscription. A subscription is the default mode. So if a MQTT client subscribes to a specific topic, it will receive all data flowing through the topic. If you have two MQTT clients subscribing to the same topic, both of the clients will receive all data for that specific topic. The other type is a shared subscription. And sometimes it is referred as client-side load balancing. This means if you have topics which have a lot of data flowing through them, so a single client cannot keep up with the data and is not able to process all the data, you want to split the data stream uh, across multiple MQTT clients. And this is what a shared subscription is. So multiple clients can form a logical shared subscription and the broker will distribute the data for that specific subscription to all clients which are part of the shared subscription. Clients can join and go out of the shared subscription at runtime, and this is very easy. So in order to join a shared subscription, a client needs to use a specific topic, which you can see here, which consists of three parts. The dollar part in the beginning, then the group ID, and then the actual subscription. And all clients which use th uh, this magic um, a string for subscribing are showing the shared subscription. And so you can distribute data across all these clients. This is an MQTT5 feature. If you want to use shared subscriptions with MQTT3, which is still um, the most deployed and most used MQT version, you need an MQTT broker which supports this. A broker which supports this is, for example, the HiveMQ Enterprise MQTT broker. MQTT5 brokers support this by default. So, to sum up, subscriptions are still the way to go for most MQT clients for low traffic um, um, uh, topics and shared subscriptions are used for high traffic topics and is very often used on the backend side, while devices itself use subscriptions more often.